has so many things to do. Swimming, tennis, volleyball, creative arts, dancing, singing. Yes, it's fun to sing around the campfire. Join the campfire girls. Sing around the campfire. Join the campfire girls. Don't grown-ups know that every little bit hurts? of the entertainment world. The Hollywood Palace! With your host, Pearl Hines. Tonight, the Brennan's and Sisters, Edgar Bergen, Pat Henry, Ann Miller, Anna Muffo, Cecilia Russo, Mitchell Ayers of the Hollywood Palace Orchestra. Bergen, Charlie McCarthy, Anna Marco, and lots more in the Hollywood Palace. And now, from the Hollywood Palace, here is your host, the noted actor, entertainer, and Academy Award winner, Pearl Ives! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hollywood Palace. I'm Burl Ives, the world's oldest beetle. <laughs> I thought I'd tell you that because since I've grown this beard, a lot of people think I'm Mitch Miller. <laughs> Mitch has his troubles, too, because a lot of people think he's Skitch Henderson. <laughs> but without the beard, I know that I couldn't fool you. I'm really Cary Grant. <laughs> you know, when I make an appearance, I'm always asked to sing a certain song. They kind of coaxed me to do it this evening. So let's get it out of the way so we can go on with the show. When I was young, I used to wait on my master and give him his plate and pass the bottle when he got dry and brush away the blue tail fly. When he'd ride in the afternoon, I'd follow after with a hickory broom, the pony being rather shy, when zipping by a blue tail fly, Jimmy Crack on and I don't care. The flies so numerous they did swarm. One chance to bite him on the thigh. The devil take the blue tail fly. The pony run, he jumpy pitch. He threw my master in the ditch. He died and the jury wondered why The verdict was the blue tail fly Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care My master's gone away They lay him under a simmon tree His epitaph is there to see Beneath this stone I'm forced to lie A victim of a blue tail fly Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care Jimmy Crack Horn and I don't care My master's gone Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to tell you about some of the stars you'll be seeing in the Hollywood Palace this evening. 
There's Edgar Bergen, who took a piece of wood and made it one of the most famous characters in the world. Anna Moffo, the young opera star who's so beautiful and so talented that, well, she'd be a star even if she couldn't sing a note. And some really surprising acts. And now a wonderful and famous dancing star of the motion picture screen comes to the Hollywood Palace, the glamorous, exciting Miss Ann Miller. Yes, 
is a thrilling number, and you're lovelier than ever. Thank you, Cheryl. It was, it was wonderful being with you on the show. Thank you, everybody. The last time the amazing European cyclist Ri Arusso appeared in the Hollywood Palace, he performed 16 feet up in the air. But this evening he's, uh, he's, he's on the ground, but even more sensational. So let's welcome him back, Ri Arusso. that it was the original Patrick Henry who said, give me liberty or give me death. Tonight, there's another one who'd rather have your laughter and applause. Here's one of the bright young comedians of the entertainment world, Pat Henry. <laughs> I'd like to say it's nice to be out in Hollywood. Gee, they have, this is a wonderful part of the world. They have a thing out here to start your day off so wonderful, it's called the freeway. <laughs> I was on it this morning. I was out of gas for 12 miles, didn't know it. <laughs> and I tell you, you see, traffic is a thing today. Everything they're making difficult, take traffic. It wasn't bad enough where I come from in New York. They built a World's Fair on the expressway. <laughs> we have a wonderful thing driving all summer long. We have rush hour traffic, aqueduct, racetrack, Met Stadium. Every car in New York converging into one lane. And my wife in the lead car. <laughs> you know, my wife drives, she got three tickets on her written test. 
You know, the helicopters that watch traffic, two of them crash watching her. <laughs> this is the way we live today. You notice nothing's easy anymore. They want to destroy us. Drive us crazy. Years ago, we had a simple life. Everything was nice. Take the telephone. Years ago, you wanted information. Three digits. You got China. <laughs> today, you've got to be a mathematical genius just to make a phone call. You've got to have area codes, zip numbers, digits, numerals. Everything is numbers. <laughs> They're going to do away with names completely. In 10 years, we'll all be numbers. Guy will walk up and say, meet my friend, 2164. <laughs> Gee, you don't look Jewish. <laughs> well, that's not his real number. That's his nick number, you know. He was for the neighborhood. You notice we're always picking. We pick on everyone. Take Elizabeth Taylor, magnificent person. I met her in London. She's beautiful. Took my wife to see the movie Cleopatra. You know her wife's eyes. Did you like her? Said she's all right, but she's got fat fingers. <laughs> I never noticed that before. <laughs> Who could live with a woman with fat fingers? My wife gets one fat finger out. That's it. I don't need it. Life is ridiculous. I don't want to face life anymore. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning, I take a sleeping pill. <laughs> I don't know who I am anymore. I went to the old neighbor, the guys were still there. They said, what are you doing now? I said, I'm a comic. They said, hey, you don't look like a comic. What does a comic look like? Does a doctor look like a doctor? Does a lawyer look like a lawyer? Does Picasso look like a great pianist? <laughs> does she? I hate to leave my house. What do you find on the street today? Hate, poverty, lust. I have that home. <laughs> In my house, the parakeet hates me. I walked up to the bird. I said, it's stupid. Can you talk? He said, yeah, dummy. Can you fly? <laughs> it's the way we live today. Nothing's easy anymore. I tell you, it's affected everyone, even the children. Children today, you notice how nervous they are? All nervous wrecks. I have a daughter eight years old. Took her to a doctor. What do you think she has? An ulcerette. <laughs> we don't help. We destroy them, spoil them, give them, get them, anything they want, they have today. I bought my son the other day a spacesuit, $19. He won't go. <laughs> Our fathers love this, really. Our fathers love this, never bought us toys. I know my father loved me. Every morning took me swimming. Eight o'clock, I was swimming. All the other kids were ice skating. <laughs> And today we have a new thing now, buy educational toys for your kids. Listen to me, don't do it. Because you've got to assemble them and you've got to be an Einstein just to put them together. I'm still putting toys together from two years ago. Every day I work on the toys, the kids walk in and say, dummy's back at the toys again. And they play with the boxes, they don't care about the toys. You notice today with our kids, we have wonderful... You know what fascinates me? Especially this time of the year, near Christmas, the dolls. I love the dolls. They have all types. And they're this big, real hair. They walk and talk. I have a daughter, too. Still crawls. The doll is running around the house. <laughs> and they have wild names like Chatty Cathy, Susie Talker, Blabbermouth Barbara. <laughs> all types of dolls. Nancy Nurse, this is a doll. It sneezes, it coughs, the nose runs. It's a walking epidemic. <laughs> We have a teenage doll, long hair, sideburns, black leather jacket, pull a little string, it mugs you and steals your hubcaps. <laughs> My favorite doll is called Kissy. This is a doll, Kissy. You squeeze the hand, it kisses you. Massage the neck, it caresses you. 19 years old. My wife don't know about this doll yet. <laughs> but really... <laughs> But isn't it nice we can spoil our kids, give them, buy them, why not? We never had it like this. I know I never did. I'll be truthful. I was raised in New York City. We were dirty and grimy. Wouldn't let us swim in the East River. We left the ring around the pier. <laughs> What's so beautiful about our country is wherever you come from, in 50 states, we share the same toys. One toy I know you'll all remember. You remember the little tutu? You forgot a tutu? I'll explain. You'll all remember. You remember the rolls of tissue paper? When it was all finished, we got that little round cardboard on the inside and... Oh, no. They're wonderful. They're a wonderful audience. In closing, I'd like to do something for you. I'll leave you with three little words. If you remember these three words, you'll always have money. Stick them up. One of the 
the most unusual turns I've ever seen, a team of attractive girls from Paris who do some amazing things with their feet. Here they are, the Barrington sisters. something never before attempted. Two 90-pound girls balancing tables that are twice as big as they are. like to pay tribute to a little chimney sweep who came down the chimney and left a beautiful song for me. It's from Walt Disney's magnificent movie, Mary Poppins. And it was my privilege recently to record it. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chimney for me. 
chimney sweet fluffy as lucky can be chim chimney chim chimney chim chim chiru good luck will rub off when i shake hands with you or blow me a kiss and that's lucky too now as the ladder of life has been strung a chimney sweeps on the bottom most run but i spend my time in the ashes and smoke in this old world there's no happier blow chim chimney chim chimney chim chim chiri a chimney sweeps a lucky as lucky can be chim chimney chim chimney chim chim chiri good luck will rub off when i shake hands with you in my profession there's many a time when i embark on a perilous climb up where the smoke is all billowed and curled twixt pavement and stars is the chimney sweeps world gables and rooftops become taj mahal and blimey the chimneys are great chinese walls the pillars of hercules loom left and right the sphinx the acropolis oh what a sight chim chimney chim chimney chim chim to be a chimney sweeps lucky as lucky can be chim chimney chim chimney chim chim to be good luck will rub off when i shake hands with you or blow me a kiss and that's lucky And now we in the Hollywood Palace are delighted to present the opera world's most beautiful and versatile soprano who went from her hometown of Philadelphia all the way to the Metropolitan Opera House. Tonight she's going to sing an aria, Chascun la Sa, from Donizetti's Daughters of the Regiment. I hope I got that right. It's a story of the regiment's young foundling who tells the soldiers that she's just as good a soldier as they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Anna Muffle. Oh, <laughs> 
beautiful, Anna. Just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. As they say in vaudeville, Mapo is buffo. <laughs> Are you ready now for our number together? I'm looking forward to it. I've never done a duet with Cary Grant. <laughs> Judy, 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 you found me out. <laughs> Anna, have you ever noticed how quickly children grow up? Have you noticed how they change day by day? Before you turn around, Suddenly you found. The little girl you once knew, all of a sudden, grew up on you. And you can't believe your eyes. Where are you going, my little one, little one? Where are you going, my baby? get to the mat myself. <laughs> It's our pleasure to present the most famous ventriloquist the world has ever known and his equally famous piece of pine. Ladies and gentlemen, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Charlie, tonight we're playing the palace. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. I hope you won't embarrass me like you did in Las Vegas. What about Las Vegas? I thought I gave a very moving performance. Yes, it was moving, all right. Especially your lips. Oh, no. <laughs> what about my lips? Well, you had your mouth open so much, two fellas use it for a slot machine. Yes. <laughs> they picked a lemon, all right. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of yourself, Charlie? Look at this nice audience and you talk that way. Look at their faces. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she, she. <laughs> sort of makes you want to give up show business, doesn't it? <laughs> well, how could you say things like that? I don't know. Well, that's gratitude for you. You pick up a nobody on the street. Yeah. And you make him a big star. What do you get in return? Uh, nothing. Yeah. You never even thank me. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, Charlie, with this attitude, with this philosophy, what will you be 20 years from now? Well, 32. No. <laughs> what kind of a person will you be? Well, nobody can say that now. Well, I may be able to tell you because I am able to look into the future. Yeah? Yes. I am clairvoyant. Are you Clara? <laughs> yes, I like to toy with the supernatural and dabble with the occult. Why, you dirty old man. <laughs> well, all right. I will go into my trance. Well, you haven't far to go. No, I do I'm going to Hong Kong and so boom stong, so brock stong, and so chill it a common. What's the matter, gas pain? No. <laughs> Sour stomach? 
No. <laughs> it's not easy to go into a trance. Oh, forgive me. Yes. yes. Ooh. You know, I think it sounds like the trance is a little too tight for you. No. <laughs> You're going in from the wrong end. Oh. If you get in, pull the trance in after you. Yeah, all right, all right. Get rid of the whole mess, boys. I'm now looking into the future 20 years from now. What do you see? I see a disagreeable, dissipated old man. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's you, Bergen. Now, how do I look? Oh. No. No, Charlie, I will never look that way. Yeah? I'll show you how I will look. Yeah? Yes, I'm pretty clever with the makeup. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll show you how I look 20 years from now. All right. Here's your dressing room right here. Yeah. Can you come all there? Yeah. Where's my Cary Grant makeup out there? All right. My Bob Cummings youth pill. Yeah. Are you ready, Charlie? I can't find my pants. Well, you're not ready then, no. Okay. All right, Charlie. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlie, old boy, we, we certainly have lived, haven't we? Uh, what did you say? Speaking to my hearing aid, you fool. <laughs> I say we've certainly lived. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But not lately. <laughs> a little old to be wearing an Ivy League cap. Well, it's no sillier than you wearing that top hat all the time. <laughs> Who turned on the air conditioning all the time? <laughs> Charlie, there's a cutie coming down the street. Yeah, if I have my teeth with me, I'd whistle. <laughs> Listen, Edgar and Charlie. Yeah. What are you boys doing tonight? Painting the town? Well, we'd like to, but Bergen is all out of paint. <laughs> yeah. How about you and me going dancing? Great idea. We can do the Watusi. Yeah. See we... you later, Charlie. Yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> She's a wonderful girl. Yes. When I see a pretty girl like that, it uh, makes me think that I should get married. Married? Yes. Aren't you buying a saddle after the horses in the glue factory? <laughs> By the way, Charlie, I've got a real surprise for you. I have a radio. What well, won't they think of next? Yes. <laughs> it's not an ordinary radio. It can pick up sounds of the past. You don't say. Yes. We can hear you. Some of our old friends on there. Yes, you can hear these voices. Like our old conversations with Marilyn Monroe, John Barrymore, and W.C. Field. Yeah. And they're not imitations. They're the real voices. Yeah. Well, don't give us such a long commercial. Turn it on. All right, I will. I'm pretty... <laughs> My dear, we were made for each other. Kiss me, Charlie, just to make sure. Yes, gladly, all right. <laughs> ah, they're still playing our song. John Barrymore. Synonymous with profile. Yes, yes. And I might add, you know, it's getting a little tiresome riding through life side saddle. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Edgar. W.C. Fields. Isn't up to see. The original half man, half nose wear. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, Edgar. It's touching to see your affection for the little nipper. Oh, thank you, Bill. You know, I thought you didn't like children. Oh, not at all, Edgar. I love children. <laughs> I can remember when, with my own little unsteady legs, I paddled from room to room. <laughs> when was that? Last night? <laughs> Well, Charlie, that was only three of the many great celebrities that we had the privilege of working with. Yeah. As you look back over the years, have you any regrets? No, 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 no. If I had my life to live over again, I'd make the same mistake, Bill. Yeah. Only this time, I'd start sooner. Yeah. <laughs>
wonderful, Edgar. Hiya, Charlie. I uh, say he looks like Santa Claus in a snowstorm. <laughs> Their lives, and you better apologize. Yeah. That's all right, Edgar. I know Charlie's bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> Get that innuendo there, that bark thing. Yeah, that naughty pine business. Yeah. Why, you and your cookie duster. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You're a musical whistle. All right, now, never mind. No, no, no. Edgar, I hope you won't mind if I tell the folks something about the lovely young girl who appeared in your act. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that charming young lady in Edgar's act was his 18-year-old daughter, Candy. So look out for the She beautiful. Well, thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Just my luck. She has to be my sister. <laughs> I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world of woe. Oh, the buzzing of the bees and the cigarette tree and the soda water fountain where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountain. When I was a bachelor, I lived all alone. I worked at the weaver's trade. And the only, only thing that I did that was wrong was to woo a fair young maid. I wooed her in the winter. Part of the summer, too. And the only, only thing that I did that was wrong was to keep her from the foggy, foggy dew. It's just my funny way of laughing. Yes, my funny way of laughing. can be If we meet on the street and a little bit of tear rolls down my cheek Please don't think it's because I'm blue or that I'm still in love with you It's just my funny way of laughing Yes, my funny way of laughing You're leaving didn't bother me It's just my funny way
got a kiss for you. And I've got more left over for each star that twinkles in the blue. Early shell from the ocean, shining in the sun, covering the shore. I see them. Chimney, chim, chim, chiri, on behalf of myself and the whole company. Chim, chimney, chim, chimney, chim, chim, chiru, I'd like to say thanks and a good night to you. We all had a ball and we hope you did too. Don't forget next week, Donald O'Connor. Louis Armstrong, Cliff Arquette, Norm Crosby, the Hannaford family, Gary Merrill.